Hello Royalty, good morning and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do it to pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions that have lingered over the years in our hearts and sometimes seem to have defied answers have been tackled. I have no doubt that the Lord has taken care of your burdens on this platform. You just have to follow us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go through the videos that were uploaded, the over 500 of them. Before you finish, you discover how much the Lord has dealt with your issue. I might encourage you to use the comment section to put your, your testimonies as the Lord is blessed here, as well as uh, help us to share this and let it go viral, all right? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for yesterday. We thank you for tomorrow. You have begun a new thing in our lives and we have the assurance that you bring it to pass. You accomplish it in our lives. Glorify Jesus in this meeting. Once again, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Beloved, we are still talking about ambiquity. And the question that we are still handling there is that, do you know the laws of the universe? Can you use them to regulate the earth? That is the question we are asking. Any knowledge about the laws of the universe, can you also use them to regulate the earth? And uh, we ended yesterday with um, God's character is not ambiguous as in uncertain, but he's an enema. He's inexplicable in his creation, his work, his power, his ways, and his understanding. Would we want a God absent of mystery? One, we could fully comprehend, then we would be his equal, and he wouldn't be God. Is that what you are looking for? So let us uh, look at some passages this morning quickly. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 35, the Bible said, This fulfilled what God has spoken to the prophet. I will speak to you in parables. I will explain things hidden since the creation of the world. In Luke, 10 verse, in Luke 8, verse 10, he replied, You are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of God. But I use parables to teach the others so that the scriptures might be fulfilled. When they look, they won't really see. When they hear, they won't understand. You see, this is even why so many people are turning against God. They don't want to believe again because even a few persons I try to communicate with, this is their, their issue. They have read, they did not understand, so God became something else to them. In Luke 10, 21, at that same time, Jesus was filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit, and he said, O oh, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever, and for revealing them to the childlike. Yes, Father, it pleased you to do it this way. And that is the truth. All right, in 1 Corinthians 1, 27-28, instead, God chose things the world consider foolish in order to shame those who think they are wise. And he chose things that are powerless to shame those who are powerful. God chose the things despised by the world, things counted as nothing at all, and used them to bring to nothing what the world considers important. I want us to take a break at this moment and meditate on these things. The truth is that God decides what to do, and you don't have any say over it. That is why in Revelation 4, verse 11, we said, All things are created by Him for His pleasure. That is the truth. He created all things for His pleasure, and you don't have any say. You can't interfere or interrupt Him. All right, let's quickly pray. You want to give your life to Christ this morning. Just pray after me and say, Lord Jesus, save my soul from eternal damnation. Wash me by your blood this morning. Breathe upon me the breath of life. Write my name in the book of life and delete it from the book of death. Satan will draw your feeding hands out of my life. You did not make me. You cannot keep me either. Thank God Jesus died for me and I've returned back to him. Thank God I am born again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me this morning, congratulations. Continue to feast and fellowship with us. 
God has equipped these messages or built these messages to equip you. And I know you will get there in the name of Jesus. God bless you all and have a beautiful day ahead of you. You will be fruitful indeed. You will break, have breakthrough. You will break new ground. You will break ground. I mean, you, you, you have promotions. Places you least expect, God will take you there. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.